Hello everyone, welcome to another Router Gods episode. My name is Humphrey Chung, and we are going to play with GNS3 Workbench. What this is, it's a great invention by a guy named Chris Welch. And you can see his website right here, Red Nectar. I keep wanting to say Redneck, but it's rednectar.net. And it is a pre-made VMware image with Ubuntu 10, GNS3, and a virtual PC. All you have to do is change a couple settings, add your iOS, and you're off and running with GNS3. Basically, it is for people who are too lazy or stupid to install GNS3 on their own and, uh, you know, makes things a little bit easier. So you go to his website, go to his blog, click on the link to download it. You will be given a compressed image. So just uncompress it and you will get a folder probably called GNS3 Workbench Current version is 5.6. Uh, suffice to say you should probably have VMware Player or VMware Workstation pre-installed on your computer. You can get VMware Player for free, so just download it. Then what you do is you find the .vmx file right there, right click on it, open with VMware Player. As VMware loads up, it's going to load up the image. Ubuntu is going to be loading in its virtualized environment. And here we go, we're almost up and running. It logs you in automatically, and here we go. So I'm just going to move this folder right about there. Okay, so it's pretty nice because when you start up, it's going to give you a text file with some instructions right there. You can read it. Uh, probably very important that you read it. So only password you, you will ever need is the word password. I'm going to close this out. First thing you want to do is you want to transfer an iOS image to this and it is very easy if you're running this inside of Windows. All you have to do is go to Places, click on GNS3. This is the GNS3 folder. Double click on iOS. Expand this column out and you will notice that it's got some instructions. Put these iOS images here. Awesome. So I'm going to go over to my Cisco folder here. I've got it on my desktop the C3725 Advanced Enterprise 12.4T. I'm going to drag this into my iOS folder. It is going to copy. Don't you just love VMware? So that is there right, right there. I'm going to close that out. Now I'm going to double click on GNS3. Double click on that icon right there. Uh, now this is to show you that there are pre-made exercises and topologies in here. This guy has made, has gone all out. It's not just GNS3, it's exercises. You've got uh, ICND1, ICND2, you've got standard layouts. Let me double click on that. So you can see like three routers, two routers, six switches, all that good stuff. Got some utilities here. So he's, he's taken a lot of the work. He's done all the work for you, basically, and some more stuff. Okay. To fire up GNS3, all you have to do is go to the upper left-hand corner, the Ubuntu logo, click on GNS3 right there. Password. Password is password. And here we go. We've got GNS3 right here. I'm going to cancel on the new project. You can see it looks just like normal, as you would expect it if you've played around with GNS3. I'm going to clear the clear the topology summary, clear the captures, and clear this console window over here. Of course, we can always get them back by going to View and Docs. But what you want to do is you want to go to Edit, iOS Images and Hypervisors. What I like to do, I like to clear this out. You could delete that, actually click Delete here. And we're going to click on these three dots right here to find our iOS image. There we go. Click Open. So now that's set, Base Config, all this is good. I'll probably have to reset my idle PC, but that's OK. Then I'm going to go to Edit Preferences. And you can change any of these preferences if you want. I'm going to keep that the same. K Console, that's good. I'm going to click Always Use Manual Mode when adding links. I like that feature. Go to Dynamips. Just for grins, I'm going to click Test. And it works. Awesome. Going to get out of there. And let's drag in two routers, hook them up, and see if it works. R1 and R2, going to click on Show Interface Names, click on the Link button, go to Manual, Fast00, zero zero, Fast00, zero zero, Life is Good, click Play, Routers fire up, click on the Console window, 
and we've got R1 and R2. Look at that, this is awesome. I'm gonna just maximize this window right there. And there we go, we could do the basic stuff like enable show IP int BR. Everything works as usual, as you expect it to. So there you go, this is GNS3 Workbench 5.6. It's a VMware image with Ubuntu and GNS3 preloaded. Makes everything very simple. You just have to provide your iOS and change that one setting inside of the iOS images settings. Thanks for watching.